customizing skateboards. Yeah! Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Viv and I are off to get a skateboard. We are waiting for him to take off the wheels. Oh, he's done. <laughs> we got the skateboard. I'm gonna customize it now. And not use it because I don't know how to skateboard. Is this even working? Ew, this is amazing. Yeah. Viv, what's going on here? Trying to unscrew the screws. Screw the screws. There's some screws. <laughs> screw screw in the screws. Here. It's because Wait, what happened? There's not a. Uh... Oh. We're just not smart oh, enough. Know. You're a bunch of posers. Well, I have a skateboard, skateboard. and some tape wow. and some sandpaper. Fun fact about these skateboards: they plant two trees for every tree that they kill. It says so on the sticker. Time to sand. Jake! Hey! Wow! Wow! Look at me go! Whoa! Why is this happening to my hands? Ah. Oh, I didn't peel off the sticker. I'm sending the sticker. Oops! I Rookie mistake! Wait, watch. Look what I can try to do. Don't like cool people like care with their teeth. No, no, don't! Oh. <laughs> it worked! Does it look cool? We just finished taping our board. Let's spray paint them. So I have five very weird, rough sketches here that I'm gonna be transferring onto my board. They're very rough sketches. I think she's gonna laugh. I am mixing some paint so I can start the octopus tentacle. But right now, I'm working on the little individual suction cups and just getting everything color blocked. Progress update. This is my board so far. Two character paintings finished. Working on the third one. I'm painting a tiger. Wow. So we all just finished our skateboards. I think they all came out really cool. Time to take them. Let's do it. Which Can one, guys? Which one turn. should I choose? Wait, oh, wait! Oh. Oh. <laughs> almost hit me. Over here, I have famous photographer and YouTuber, Jordan Matter. You have skateboards. Yes, you do. I can't wait to deliver them. These are just unbelievably cool. I wish I could skate. If I could skate, I'd want to keep one. So we're going to give one to Sky. Sky is going to give one to uh, a surprise a kid, another skater, and then we're going to donate two to Cherry. And we just made this on Jordan Matter's channel. He did this in 20 minutes with challenges, including an ice dump on his head. The challenges are pretty brutal. Yeah. Go to Jordan Maddow's channel and subscribe to him if you want to see that. We just painted Zach and Michelle's faces on this board to surprise them. They're actually sitting right here. Are you guys ready to see it? Yeah. Well, not really. My eyes are closed Where right now. Where is it? Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> it's so pretty! Whoa. This looks really good. It's so good. <laughs> Jake, you are so talented. Oh, I know. I, I, just, love it. <laughs> I know Jake didn't do it. <laughs> you look better than me in this. I know, but don't it always? I always look better. I guess. I love this. Can I keep this one? Do you know how to skateboard? No. Do you want to try? Okay. On this table? Oh, whoa! Ooh! Call me a professional. Are we allowed to keep this? I mean, you bought it, right? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Hang this up. This looks really cool. Subscribe if you want to see more cool paintings like that. And if you want to be picked to be in our next video. Today we will be making cake art. So whichever one of these five artists has the best cake art after six hours will win up to five grand for a random subscriber. In the previous video, they all learned how to make cakes, so I'm expecting some pretty good art. Your six hours begins right now. I'm gonna grab extra cake because I know I'm gonna need some because it's gonna be a thick cake. I have an idea. Whether or not it's a good idea, I don't know. I kind of want to make a unicorn. I'm not very good at cake art, I found out. Kenz, I'm not good at cake art either. Okay, you're a lot worse than me. Some of them have already begun, but we're gonna have a plot twist right from the beginning. All right, everyone, partner up. Jake! <laughs> Nick! Nick! Hey, I have no partner. Jake. Jake, give Nick a topic. Asparagus. All right, Nick, give Jake a topic. Flowers. Mackenzie, give David a topic. Construction. David, give something to Mackenzie. <laughs> Okay, Mackenzie gets poop. Just something poop for later. And Michelle, since you don't have a teammate, you get to choose your own topic. I choose unicorn. 
Rob. Right off the bat, things have fallen into chaos. People are getting the most random topics ever. There's asparagus, there's poop. This is gonna be really interesting to see what they make. Nick, so you need to do something asparagus themed. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what Nick's gonna do either. Jake actually got a pretty good one. Jake, you make such cool flowers. Mackenzie, even though your topic's poop, you could get creative with it. What animal did you wanna make to start out with? An octopus. You could make a pooping octopus? That's so gross. Yours better be the most appetizing out of everyone's. I won the last video, but now I'm kind of struggling and I feel like I forgot everything I learned. I'm hoping the airbrushing is gonna be my biggest strength. I think the lesson was super fun and super easy because someone was teaching me how to do stuff. Right now nobody's teaching me how to do anything so I'm kind of just free balling it and it's not really working very well. First thing, leveling the cake. Okay, well, oh man. Ed, can you hear me from all the way over there? Yes, Jake, I can hear you. You're trash, you're gonna lose. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I was so excited for my hermit crab and I have to do construction. Huh? I'm extremely happy that Nick gave me flowers because that's literally one of the only things we learned how to do. I mean, obviously, I could just do a poop cake, but I don't really want to do that. I'm gonna do a three layer cake and try and make it beautiful like the unicorn. I'm not competing because I'm allergic to everything and I would die, but if I had to choose someone who I think is gonna win, I'd choose Jake. It looks like you've been using your skills learned from the last video. Does it look like I've been using my Skills. David, since you and Michelle won the lesson challenge in the last video, if you win this challenge, you get a $500 gift card to a bakery. I really want to win that. I've got to win. I'm going to get the biggest cake ever. Yeah, so I wanted to do like some sort of monster. See, now I'm doing an asparagus eating monster, and I think it's going to come out really good. I just finished carving off the tops to both of my cakes, and now I'm going to take my frosting and I'm going to spread it on top. I found out what I'm going to make. It's a little rabbit and it's pooping. Oh, it looks like a shell, kind of. Jake, do you love my cake? Oh, it's a shell. It's a shell. I'm going to have to destroy it. In the last video, the artist sculpted bubbles out of fondant. For the first challenge, I'm going to put their new skills to the test and have them sculpt turkey. We are an hour and a half into the challenge. I'm excited to see how these turn out. I'm not sure if I want to eat them though. Not sure if they wash their hands. So I have a mini challenge for you guys to see who gets an advantage, but before we do that, it's Michelle's birthday. Everyone say happy birthday. She is 24 years old. 24 years young. For the next challenge, everyone, follow me to that room over there. You guys have 10 minutes to make turkey out of fondant. I'll be taking a look at whose is the best, whose is the worst. Go. You guys literally just had a lesson on this. Do you guys remember the techniques? I don't think they remember anything. Honestly, I don't remember the steps either. Oh dear. I don't know what's happening. That looks very powdery to me, Nick. I'm so Where sorry, I'm reaching over you. Here, guys. Whoa, that is a nice steal. This is such a workout and it takes so much work. Mm -hmm. I used food dye and now my hands are blue also and they probably will be for a week. Instructor never told you to use food dye. Ooh, my hands are gross. So while they're making turkey, I want to remind you guys that if you guys want to buy turkey, it's a very cute plush, you can get it at zhcstore.com. This man over here is sweating bullets. Final minutes. Three, two, one. Everyone, hands off. So I'm gonna give everyone a placement from one through five. <laughs> that is not number one. <laughs> That's cute. Michelle, I think you beat David out on this one. <laughs> number one, I'm gonna hand it to you, Mackenzie, for getting the perfect color. Michelle, you're number two. Nice. David, you're number three. Jake, you're next. Nick, you're last. Oh, well, we're about to get a punishment. I have no idea what's gonna go on. Safe to say I don't have a career in baking ever. Nick, for coming in fifth, you have 50 jump shots. Jake, 40 jump shots. David, 30 jump shots. Michelle, 20 jump shots. And Mackenzie, for winning, you get to give someone 10 more jump shots. Okay, David! <laughs> go make your jump shots. Let's go, all day. Oh my god, my ankle! When David gave me the topic of poop, I was really frustrated and I had no idea what to do. But then I found a reference picture of a rabbit pooping and that inspired my idea that I'm doing now. Kobe! Wow! I hate basketball. That was stupid. Oh wow, this and is a lot now heavier than I'm I thought. Going to <laughs> David, stop it! <laughs> All right, 20 minutes. Let's go make some fun. Honestly, my biggest strength this video so far has been time management. I've been trying to show up to work on time recently. He showed up late today. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> just take it off and redo it. No. Okay. It's too late. I got a little frustrated with the fondant earlier. I really wish I could do nothing on my birthday, but this is adult life and people work on their birthdays. Are you gonna eat your own cake for your birthday? 
Yes, I'm gonna get my own cake for my birthday. Jake's does look good. We got that smooth cake. <laughs> so we're out of white fondant, and that was the whole next step of my cake. So I need to wait for, to get more, and I think I'm just gonna work on the little hermit crab body until the new fondant comes. I think I just finished texturizing the body. So now I'm going to sculpt the tail and the feet. Michelle knows what she's doing. I'm very good with my hands. <laughs> the artists have been working super hard on their cakes, so I decided to give them a little extra reward in this next challenge. We are almost down to our last hour and a half. I have a little challenge so they can win some extra money if they win. First person to make frosting out of scratch will win an extra $500 if you do win. Go! Where's the, wait, whoa, what? how'd you find the bucket of water? Go. So they learned how to make frosting from scratch just a few days ago, so I'm hoping they remember everything. Yeah. Luckily for you guys, I'm not gonna taste them. Where's the powdered sugar? I'm making a, such a mess. Oh. Yeah, yeah, actually that's pretty good. <laughs> Mackenzie, oh, 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 if you end up oh, winning this entire me, challenge, I'll give you $500. Oh, yes! I don't know what's happening! How do you even get it to look like this? I would say that I'm moving along at a pretty good rate. I have my fondant down on top of my rabbit, and that's farther than some of the other competitors. I have no strengths in this challenge. I think I have a lot of weaknesses in this challenge, <laughs> but I think I could win. Wait, what? You guys, the fondant's here. We have around an hour or so left. We have one last twist before we keep going. Everyone, meet in that room. So in front of each of you are plain cupcakes. Whoever finishes first will get to take one bite out of someone's piece. Go! Mine had a hair in it. You need to swallow, you need to swallow. Okay, Michelle. Oh, Michelle's done. Come with me, I'll grab you a fork. Michelle, you can only dig out one piece and it has to fit in your mouth. Not <laughs> But the only one that's complete is Mackenzie. Eat Mackenzie's cake. You can be, I'll be nice gentle. and I'll you can gentle. just eat from one of the feet. Oh, 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 oh. When Mackenzie on the bright side, even with the hole in its head, I, I still think you're way ahead of everyone else. <laughs> I do feel bad because she said yeah, it was her birthday. Right now I think my piece is going pretty well. I'm working on sculpting the fondant stems to flowers along the base of the cake. Why do you always wear the hat now? <laughs> what? <laughs> At this point, we're just throwing stuff on. Using my sweat to make this stick. That's so gross. It's definitely taking a little bit of a horror movie turn. I'm so confused, Jake. <laughs> After Michelle took a bite out of my bunny's head, I tried to fix it by putting a little bow on top of her. There are only 20 minutes left in the competition. Some of the artists are definitely going to have to rush to finish their piece if they want to win five grand for a subscriber. I finally finished the face of my unicorn, so that's good. 33 seconds left. I don't know what I'm doing. I think he's done. Hopefully he's act like that. We have 25 seconds, Gus. Come on, Gus. Come on, Gus. It's been six hours and everyone's done with their cake art. Ben is gonna be judging with me. David, tell us about your piece. Oh, this is Henry the Hermit Crab. He's fabulous and he lives underneath like a little construction cargo ship. And I made him with lots of fondant and I airbrushed the shell. David, with like 20 minutes left, you literally had nothing down over here. How did you pull this off in the last 20 minutes? I have no idea. The one thing I wish was a little bit better was the tool. I think the shell is my favorite part. I love the texture. You. Good job, David. All right, Jake, tell me about this. So I got the topic of flowers from Nick. Oh, we have like soil and like normal flowers over here, but then this guy is like a flower demon and his influence just like floods over all the regular flowers. I mean, this looks like a very complete piece. It's very gory and kind of creepy and I really like it. The only thing I would say is I wish you had a little bit more time with the leaves down here so you could make a couple more intricate ones. All right, good job, Jake. All right, Michelle, tell me about your cake. I made Corny the Unicorn. It's a four-layer cake, and if you cut into it, it's also blue, pink, and purple. I got inspiration from Rosie. Yeah. Very cool. Out of all the cakes so far, if I could eat it, I think I'd eat Michelle's. I would say this looks the most like a normal cake. I wish you could have smoothed out the front a little bit. It does look a little bit rough at the bottom. The fondant I had to use was all dried out. Good job. 
Nick, tell us about what you made. This is Gus. He's got some asparagus on the side. He's not too hungry, he already ate. I, I don't know if I would say you really embraced the topic. It looks like you made venom and made two, <laughs> two asparagus to put on the side of your piece. But disregarding that, teeth look really, really cool. I, I really like the mouth area. I feel like the head could have used so much more work. Like yours and I have been eating it. It's just there. He doesn't like asparagus. Didn't quite follow the topic, but impressive lips and teeth. Kenzie, tell us about your piece. I got the topic of poop. So I made a poop colored bunny named and she is pooping. And I tried to fix Michelle's little puncture wound by putting a bow. So right off the bat, I think you utilized the airbrush really, really well. It, it looks like there's there's actual like texture and color to it. The face is very accurate to a bunny. One thing you could have easily done is just added more grass, like filled the whole thing in. I like how the ears are like floppy. You can tell yeah. that they're floppy. Good job, Mackenzie. All right, so Ben and I are gonna go up to each one of you, give you a score out of 10. Whoever has the most points wins. All right, David, my score for you is an eight. And I'm gonna give you a seven. Oh, okay. All right, Jake, I didn't think I would like yours so much. I'm going with a nine. Whoa. I'm gonna give it an eight. Whoa. Okay. Michelle, as a boyfriend, I'd give you a 10, but as a judge, I'd give it a four. Oh, what? Michelle, I think it's a very solid piece. I give it a six. Oh. Nick, I don't think you incorporated the topic well. I have to go with a three. Nick, I'm giving you a two. All right. Yes. Mackenzie, I, I think overall you've wowed me with, with how fast you went. I, I would give it an eight and a half. Personally, my favorite is Jake's, but I still think it's really impressive. With Nick, David, and Michelle all out of the competition, it was down to this final vote to decide whether Mackenzie or Jake wins. I'm giving it a nine. Oh, oh you won by half a point! Okay, congratulations! Yay! Whichever one of these four artists makes the best portion of me wins five grand for their sibling. Yeah. You have five hours, the time has officially started. For your references, you have five minutes with me. Oh. So in the previous video, we all did training. Michelle was dead last. Ben and Jake were tied for third. David came in second and I won but I'm not competing today. I see Zach every day. I think I know what his face looks like. But in the last challenge, I didn't do so well. Ben's probably just gonna do a mediocre portrait and then draw a dragon to make up for it. Did you see your character shirt of Zach in the school video? No, it was beautiful. Wait, these are really- I'm scared to start, oh my god. How do you think your students are gonna do today? Um, I'm really rooting for Ben because yesterday I feel like he felt horrible after. What about Michelle? She's a serious underdog here. I heard her saying that she sees your face every day. That does not matter. I think I struggled in the training video because the other artists are just way more talented. But today, I have more time to work on my piece. How is everyone? Help! Help! <laughs> don't go into any detail until you have the big shapes. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> so far, it's good. Go a little further for me to judge. Whose base looks really good? Probably Ben. <laughs> ben, how are you feeling? I think five minutes yesterday for the other training was like too little time for me, so I think five hours is enough time. So what the contestants don't know is that they will actually each get five minutes of fun's time throughout the challenge, and they can use that at any point. Imagine like I do Michelle's and it's like one eyeball very realistic and the rest of the <laughs> That might be cool. Though. All she needs is that one good eye. I want to win money for my siblings. I don't know which one yet, so uh, maybe they'll have to sweet talk me and you know, pick from there. If you had to give one general piece of advice to all four artists, what would it be? The first hour is the most important because that's where you get all your shapes and your proportions down. It's much more important to have a great foundation before you get into shading. I wonder how much detail they're going to add because I have a couple pimples today, so I'm not looking the most attractive. So I wonder if they include that. <laughs> I'm including all the pimples. I really want to win this challenge because I really want to win money for my little sister. She's a Sagittarius like me. They have been doing their portraits for approximately 22 minutes. It is time to announce the first twist of this video. At any point, you get Devon for five minutes. I want Devon right now. I want Devon I said attack him. Jake, so you call Devon's help first? Yes. You get five minutes. Your time's already started. You need to tell Devon exactly what you want. You can't just tell him to do the drawing for you. I need help with the proportions of the face, everything about it. What was wrong with Jake's drawing at the beginning? Everything. Huh? How are you gonna use Devon? Map out my proportions? He had Devon completely start over, so the shadows. I don't think Jake had him start over, I think Devon chose to start over. Hands up! How are you feeling about it? I'm feeling really confident. Does this look more accurate? If the angle is just harder, this is like way easier. When I help you, you should have me like do that one. Here's your chair. Wait, Ben, are you using your five minutes already? Yeah. I think if you could just fix it up and then add the shadows. Do you think the nose is fine? No. 
David's portrait looks like the Chucky doll. You didn't even draw any of that. I think Devon did a great job, so. By the end of this, Devon's gonna be an expert at drawing me. Three, two, one, all right. Apparently all my proportions were wrong, so this was much needed. I think you need to measure out your proportions. I, I feel like I look like a Star Wars creature. That's why Devon's gonna come and help me really soon. That's Zach. That's the drawing. Huh? It doesn't look like Zach. I think I can come back from this. Everyone look up at the clock. It is time. We have our first challenge, so let's head to the other room. I'm so sad. Yours looks like Zach. You still have Devon's help. I want the middle, but Jake took it. I'm in the corner. Position is very important here. You do not want the corners. Well, great! In front of you guys are giant sheets of paper and a giant pencil. You guys will have three minutes to draw Devon's portrait. Devon, come sit over here. Wait. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. Wait. I didn't learn this in class yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> this looks not good. This is extremely hard. That's what she said. I gave him a big chin. Pick up the pencils. I don't think I captured right, so his beauty, one. guys. Oh, that was so hard. Devon and I are gonna go take a look at these pieces. I like the whole avatar look. Isn't like the airbender or avatar isn't like the blue people. The, blue people. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes are very close together. <laughs> There's something really artistic about this that I like. I, I drew the hat instead of the eyebrows. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. I call it Picasso Devon. See, I don't think this is one of Michelle's stronger ones. <laughs> so Devon, pick your favorite one. I choose Jake. Yes! In your faces. Jake, since you're the winner, choose who's gonna be safe with you. You're Michelle. <laughs> All right, Michelle, you're safe. David and Ben, play rock, paper, scissors to see who has to use a giant pencil for 30 minutes. Bruh. I'm gonna do scissors. Oh, the mind oh, games. That's my tactic. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! All right, Ben, what are you gonna do this time? Paper. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Let's go! You got the giant pencil for 30 minutes. Let's go back to the drawings. Well, I was kind of hoping Ben would get it because his drawing was so good. That was the most intense game of rock, paper, scissors I've ever played. I have to use this disgusting, huge pencil. I feel like this is just an automatic, like, 30 minute time deduction. I think it's time to get Devon's help. You ready? But I want to restart. No! It looks like the biggest struggle from everyone at the moment are the proportions of my face. Something about my face being slightly lopsided. He's throwing everyone off. Oh, I definitely made Zach's face too big. I always see him as a little bit more chubby. Hey! So I actually feel like I've lost a little bit of fat. You have squishy cheeks. I, I've been hitting the gym regularly. Okay. Squishy cheeks. Time's up. It looks really freaking good. I gave good. you an extra 10 seconds to be nice because you need it. <laughs> In the Kinetic Sand video, I wasn't able to win money for my brother. Hopefully this time, I'll be able to get the dub and get him some cash. Jake, I think this big pencil was an advantage. I think you should keep telling yourself that. I think I will. Everyone, it is time for challenge number two. Come with me. Oh for this next challenge, you guys will have five minutes to draw a turkey. You guys are gonna erase drawings of turkey, if that makes sense. Your time has started. I don't even have to look at turkey because I draw him for a living. Jake, you don't have a lot down. I'm getting a little worried for you. What do you mean? All right, final seconds. Come on, finish it up. Three, two, one. Erases down. Shoot. Let's take a look at it. Michelle, cute. I like it. Jake, what, what is that? that? I don't Jake, want to talk about, about it. Cute, David. Ooh, very nice, Ben. I think Ben's had a more creative element to it. He added his own touch. David copied turkey a little bit better, but I'm sorry, David. I'm gonna have to give it to Ben. Yeah! I like his better. That was a close one. I really need to start winning one of these mini challenges. How squishy is that? So squishy. Baby club. David, how cute does he look? He's the cutest. Well, you can get him at chcstore.com. All right, ah. someone catch him. Ooh. Here's your advantage. On the face, there are a couple different features. There's the lips, the nose, the eyes, the ears. You can choose one feature to erase. Oh, someone else's drawing? Yeah. So you may not erase anything but that one feature. I already have my decision. It's Jake, isn't it? Who thinks of these things? The ironic thing to answer your question. Jake actually came up with this idea. Kiss that nose goodbye, Jake. You know what? Goodbye, Goodbye, nose. Bye, nose. What is this? That's not the nose. Huh? Can you smell anything? Because <laughs> you don't have a nose. <laughs> not even gonna lie, felt great to erase Jake's nose. Zach said I made him look like a K-pop star, but this is how I actually see him. Literally perfect. Okay. I don't think it's gonna be that hard to revive this nose, but it's definitely not ideal. I'm having a little bit of trouble, so now I'm gonna use Devon to come in and really give his face like the structure that it needs. Devon! Carve out the side of his face and like the jaw, because all of that's confusing. Yay! Portrait queen, help me. I think you need to give the eyes a little more shading. I hope with Mackenzie's advice, I'll win. I'm gonna prove that I'm not a terrible artist. Just kidding, probably am. I wanna be better than yesterday, at least. 
personally, I'm getting kind of bored. Is it because of their drawings? No, it's not because of oh, the drawings. Okay. <laughs> it's because it's taken a while. And so, I bought us a little toy. Oh, sh we go up onto the roof and we can point it at their drawings and mess with them. Oh, perfect. So we have two of them. Oh, look at those. This is restricted area. Not anymore. <laughs> this way, up here. I'm pretty sure we're authorized. Oh my god. This is crazy. Bruh. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm having so much fun messing with them right now. <laughs> We did it for too long and then they all just looked up. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. I guess not big enough. <laughs> Sex being a child. We're not banking that. Take it too far. Jake, how's your drawing going? That was dirty. Look at how oh, wet that is. is. <laughs> I grabbed this right as I was I was throwing it, it was in the air, he grabbed it away and it hit the wood. <laughs> that was so rude. That one was you. No, that was you! Zach, I restarted your left eye. You just look like a random Asian dude, and I realized I had to shift it left and make it bigger. I'm so impressed with your comeback. Are you? Yeah. All right, everyone, look up at the clock. Actually, I'm not sure why I told you to look up at the clock. We're actually gonna do a mini challenge. Follow me. Mini challenge. Trust me, Michelle, you're gonna wanna win this one. I think if you win this mini challenge, you can win this whole thing. <laughs> if I win it. Let's go, Michelle, I'm rooting for you. So in front of each one of you is a pencil and a pencil sharpener, and this, is a stubby pencil. You're gonna sharpen your pencil until it gets to this size. First person to finish wins. You may begin. Jake, how is yours so messy? My little hand. And if you don't win, just don't get last. Is this it? Nope, not quite, okay, Jake. Me, Too me, short. Let me, 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 me say, nope. This, this, this. You got it, Jake. Right, you, got it. you got it, Ben. Yeah. You got it, David. Okay. Michelle. For your disadvantage, you oh. see the stubby pencils on the floor? Yeah. You gotta use those. Are you joking? Nope. No, no Michelle. <laughs> Not the stubby pencil. And for your advantage, okay. you get to vomit for five more minutes. Really? At any point. I didn't need the advantage. However, I really wish I didn't have to use the stubby pencils because that is a game changer. I asked Devon to do the hair, but he's actually just doing a little bit of everything, which I'm not complaining about. All right, Devon, time is up. Why don't you walk over to each person, give them one or two things they could work on for the final 20 minutes. Under his eye, it sh should be like more space of whites. I want you to win. It make the shadows darker. I don't know what else to say. It's not perfect. Add a shadow to like the yeah. middle of, yeah, where it like goes in a little bit. Perhaps. That shape where you have all black, make it as dark as possible. Fill in like every little spot. Everyone's doing really good. The competition is strong here between you two. I'm rooting for David and Jake, but since I coached Jake a little bit more, I'm rooting for him. <laughs> Sorry, David. I thought the stubby pencils were gonna be bad, and it actually helped darken my piece a little bit, so maybe I needed the stubby pencils. I would date him. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. All right, let's take a look at these. Here's how we're gonna judge them. Devon, Mackenzie, and I, we're gonna go around, look at each one of your pieces, and give it a score out of 10. Whoever ends up having the most points wins. We're gonna start with Ben over here. It looks overall exact, but I think the whole thing is like too gray. I feel like it should have more contrast, a 6.9. Okay, I think the same thing as Devon, but overall I really like the shading. 8.5. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a seven. 22.4. 22.4 uh, for Ben. Hi, Michelle. What I love about it is the proportions are good. It looks like Zach. You should hang this in your home. A 4.8. Oh. And I think oh. Zach's lips look a little darker than in the reference. So I gave you a five. Yay! Yes. Big improvement. I think everyone can agree on that. I would say yours looks one of the closest to mine in terms of proportions. So I gave you a 6.9. Yay! Yay. David, I'm so happy that I told you to change the reference because Thank God. What you were doing on that last portrait was... I would have given you like a four. Yeah. I love that you got the dark shadows here, mm -hmm. the darkness of the eyes, the hair. 8.4. Yay! Uh, I really like the shading. The lips look really good. The eyes are good. 9.5. Yes! Oh my Thank goodness, you. that is a high score. Just like Devon, I am so glad you changed your reference because at some point I look like E.T. Yeah. You have some very nice highlights and I feel like when I step back it really pops out. I gave you an 8. Yay! Thank you. 25.9 for David. Okay, yes! Jake, I love how dark you went on the eyebrows, the eyes, and the hair. Like, the jaw is awesome. <laughs> you did the jaw at the end! Well, I only had two minutes and I was working with this, so... <laughs>
<laughs> it, it looks amazing, and you got a 7.7. This was a really hard angle. But overall, you did really good, so I gave you a 7.5. Thanks. I think you did a good job. You took a couple L's this video, but I think you came back strong. You chose one of the more difficult angles, and while I applaud you on challenging yourself, I think in this case, certain parts that look like you struggle with in terms of proportion. I give you a 7.5, which means David, yes! come forward. You're the winner yes! of the challenge. Yes! David, do you have anything to say to your sister before you pick a card? You're a queen and you're a Sagittarius. So what are you going to paint today? I think Michelle. Michelle? Yeah. All right, well, grab anything you want from the store and I guess you can paint Michelle on it. We have some Nerf guns. Yeah. You got sneakers? No. No? How about an iPhone? I've done many of those. <laughs> All right. MacBooks? Mm, maybe. Maybe? Okay. How about some iPad? Wait, what about a Switch? I guess you could. There you go. Put it in your basket. <laughs> oh my god, it fits <laughs> perfectly. All right. Go paint Michelle, I guess. on it but then in the switch her face is gonna be on it as well so inception inception i'm using this picture of michelle but i'm gonna draw her face on here let's hope she likes it Hey guys, so I just finished the Nintendo Switch. Let's go surprise Michelle. All right, Viv, so I heard you're gonna be surprising Michelle, who is currently upstairs right now with the custom Nintendo Switch. I actually have not seen it yet. I know, it's really good. May I see it? <laughs> I hope she likes it. I think her mind's gonna be blown. I know, and she has to pose the same way. It's gonna be like, That's true. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. You know what, we should have her close her eyes and hold it so that and it's like an inception. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so should we go up and do it? Yeah, Stand up with your eyes closed. Okay. Hold out your hands, don't open them. Just like that. Okay. <laughs> don't do anything yet. Right there. <laughs> you guys see this? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Michelle, open your eyes on three. One, two, two three. three. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so you're holding it just like that. Inception! That's so good! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even notice this one! This one's the tiny one! Look at that! It's so, so cute! Whoa. What do you think, Michelle? It looks just like me! <laughs> oh my I god! I love it! Alright, now time to destroy it! Oh no! Oh baby! How much do I have to pay you? Oh, I don't know. To scratch all of that off? Oh, I don't know. How much do I have to pay you to scratch all of that off? A hundred? A million! A mil- oh, Should we do it with one million? Oh. Okay, just kidding, no. <laughs> You're welcome. Viv, good job. <laughs>